In this video, you will learn how easy it is to install Bookable onto a Squarespace website so you can accept reservations online. Like any Bookable user, you would want a place for your customers to choose their dates and times, browse through their available inventory that you have, view the future availability of individual products or product collections, and add the products they like to a shopping cart to be able to reserve an order online. If you haven't already, or plan to create a website using Squarespace, you can easily install Bookable's online reservation feature to be able to have those orders reserve your Bookable products and appear in your Bookable backend. If you haven't set up a website already in Squarespace, you can also select a pre-built template within your Squarespace account that will automatically generate a website for you to adjust and fill in with your unique products and images. What our installation involves is replacing both your Squarespace products and your Squarespace shopping cart with bookables and pasting different elements like the bookable date picker and bookable product search bar on your website for your customers to use. The first step of the installation is to paste the code that will install the bookable shopping cart to your Squarespace website pages. Go to the online store button in your bookable main menu and click the Squarespace link under website integrations. This will open up the written tutorial for this video and supply the codes for you to copy. Alternatively, you can click the Install on Other Websites option underneath that link and find the codes there instead. The shopping cart code is called the JavaScript snippet, which also makes sure your Squarespace orders end up in your Bookable account. In your Squarespace website editor, click Website and Website Tools and the Code Injection This button. is where you can paste the JavaScript snippet code that you just copied, and this will place the shopping cart on each page of your website. If you prefer to just have the shopping cart pasted on just one page, like the shop page, for example, just ignore the previous step and click the settings icon next to that page title, click advanced and click page header code injection and instead paste the code just there. You can repeat this for all pages of your website in which you want the floating shopping cart to appear. Now it's time to add the date picker code. So the date picker code is the code that will allow your customers to choose their dates and times before reserving their order. They can also choose locations if you have multiple locations on your bookable account. So what I'm going to do in order to paste this into the page is click the website section, click the home page or the shop page and click the edit button, scroll down and add a section and I'm going to select a blank section. And once I've added that blank section to the page, I can hover my mouse and the add block will appear, which I'm going to click on and select the embed button. On another tab, you can click back into the website integration page in your bookable account and copy the date picker code. Hover your mouse over the embed block you've added and click the pencil icon and paste the code into the code snippet box. This will now paste the date picker block on this page. You can repeat this process to paste the date picker block on any of the pages you want and you'll be able to see it in your page. You can now click edit again and proceed to adjust the location and the size of this element in your page to your liking. And now the date picker will allow your customers to select the dates and times that they prefer for the reservation before being taken to your product page to browse all available products. Now it's time to add your products to your website, either in a catalog display pre-made by Bookable or as a self-designed catalog with individual product pages made by you. Either option is totally possible with our range of product codes we have in Bookable and we will start with the Bookable made catalog first. Firstly, click into the Pages section and click Open the Shop page. You will first want to select all the products Squarespace has created for your page and delete them, as we are going to replace these with our bookable ones. Now you can click the Edit button in the top left-hand corner and click to add a blank section and add Block. Now we can choose the Code button and adjust that block to be almost as wide and as tall as the page. Clicking the pencil icon, you can now click back into the bookable website integrations page you have open. 
and you can copy the code that appears under the list of products heading. Replace the filler code you see with this code and hit save. Once refreshed, a catalog of your products should appear in your page now and on my fully edited website, it should appear something like this with any changes made in your bookable account to any images, texts or prices or availability being automatically updated on the page as well. Now for the next option, which is embedding your products individually on your page. This is a great option if you have a smaller inventory or want to be more in control of the image sizes, fonts and design. After deleting all Squarespace products, click edit and add a blank section to your page again. And click the add block button. And now you're going to select an image block instead to add to your page. You can add the image of one of your products here and resize it to your liking. And now you can click add block again and add any text that you like for this product, being the product name as a title, for example. After adjusting it with our formatting settings and options, you can now add another block and select code. Here, I would suggest to drag this under both blocks. And this is going to place the add to cart button for this particular product so it connects to your bookable account. In your bookable account inventory page, click into the particular product and hit the online store panel. Scroll down and select the add to cart panel and copy the HTML code. Now back in Squarespace, you can replace the filler code Squarespace has with this new code and hit save. This will create a little product card of your own, such as these I've made here, for which this code has added the price, availability, quantity and add to cart buttons for each product. Again, any changes you make on the back end will automatically update on this page. Now you can add individual product pages for your products in Squarespace. Under unlinked pages in Squarespace, you can add a new page, select whichever layout you like best and name it after one of your products. After that, you can click the edit button on the top of the page and adjust or add the images, text or videos that you'd like to use to create a page for this particular product. Repeating the steps to click the add block button each time. This is how you can create a fully unique page for each individual product. This is helpful if you have a smaller inventory, for example. It's helpful if you'd like to make your product images larger or add more product images, or perhaps use a font that Bookable doesn't supply. I also need to remember to add a block and select a code. This is to connect the add to cart button and all bookable buttons to this product. You can drag it beneath the text or wherever you like in the page. And back in bookable, you can copy that same add to cart button code and paste it in the code block in your Squarespace page, replacing the filler code. Hit save and this brings all the price, availability, variations, quantity, and add to cart buttons for this particular product over to the page. And your customers will now be able to browse through different variations and check the availability of items when shopping on your online store. Now, if you have made your own product catalog page and want to link each product to an individual page, you can click edit and select the name of the product and click hyperlink from the format options and then click the settings icon that will appear, hit the page title, and then select the page you would like to link to. The text should now be underlined and your customer should now be redirected to its individual products page. Now there are many different components you can also add to your bookable page, such as a search bar, which can bring up the results for individual types of products, also a categories list. If you have a lot of categories, customers can click those to filter the products and also an embedded cart that sits at the bottom of the page. To find the codes for these elements, type in embeddable components into the Bookable Help Center and find the article titled how to embed different online store components. In this article, you will find the HTML snippet for a search bar, which you can paste at the top of your products page, for example and it will allow your customers to filter out the different product types. Back in the article, you can also find the HTML snippet for a categories list. 
which can go in a similar position underneath the search bar at the top of your products page. This will allow your customers to filter through the different categories and get to their final product quicker. And in the article, you can also find the HTML snippet to add the embeddable shopping cart. This shopping cart allows your customers to add their products to their cart and instead of the, pop, the floating cart popping up, uh, the embeddable shopping cart will be appearing at the bottom of the page, which customers can click into the online checkout. To add these codes in, you just add a block to any section of your shop page, uh, reformat it to the size of the element that you wish. You're going to be using a code block for this. So for this particular block, I'm going to make it wide and short for my search bar. Then I'm going to replace the filler code with the search bar code I found in the previous article. Hit save and now a search bar will appear on your products page for your customers to use. And of course, you can repeat this process for all the extra elements you wish to add. Now, after finalizing your website, your customer can now click into the shop page from your home page. Select their dates and times, which they can also do on the previous page. This is the dates and times they prefer for their order. You can click the link in the description box below to learn how to set operating hours and limit these rental periods. They can also type in the particular product name into the search bar to filter out and find their products quicker. They can click into their desired product view the individual availability for this product, browsing through this month, next month, and seeing the quantities of what's available on each day. Add to their shopping cart, either embedded or pop-up, and click to complete the online checkout. The online checkout is the place where the customer can enter in all of the details. Of course, you can add fields to this checkout if you need to collect more information from your customers. You can click the link in the description box below to learn more about adding fields to your bookable online checkout. Some fields can include venue details, number of guests. Um, if you're a bike rental company, it can include insurance details or helmet size anything that you would need to collect from the customer. And you can also add in the mandatory terms and conditions for the customer to agree to before completing their checkout. And you can also edit the payment settings for the checkout if you wanna collect all, a portion or none of the payment upfront. Then the customer can continue to payment or confirm their order. The order for you and your team will appear as a web shop order in your orders page and it will be reserved. So all of the products will automatically be reserved. The customer's details will appear. Bookable will have created a customer profile automatically based on that customer, which will appear in the customer's section of your Bookable account. The dates, times and location of the order, if you have multiple locations, will appear alongside any extra information from the fields that you've added to your checkout. You'll be able to see how much of each product is available after this order the prices for each, the taxes, exclusive and inclusive for this order. And then if you wish to also add any contracts, invoices, contracts or quotes to the order as well, you can create one in the click of a button using our bookable templates. Here you can send this off to the customer in an email and we have a range of email templates for you to choose from to send alongside this document as well. You can click the link in the description box below to learn more about sending documents through Bookable. And back in the order, you can also record the payment. So here, if you don't take payment online and you take a cash transfer or other manual payment in store or over the phone, you can register that in the payment section of this order. And then when the customer is ready to take the products, you can click pick up. Use the scan barcode feature to scan the product barcodes onto the order or simply select or search for the stock item numbers manually. Move it to picked up and then click that return button when you want to mark the order as returned to your store. Now the items will be ready to order for the next person. And you're all set. You have now successfully learned how to install Bookable onto a Squarespace website to take rental orders for your online store.